This is News 3 on your side, Coastal Sunrise. <laughs> and a good morning to you right at 6 o'clock. I'm Lindy Brandon. And I'm Kim Gesby. Welcome to Coastal Sunrise and welcome to Monday Morning. Good morning, Lee. Will ever wonder what classrooms will look like in the future? Students at Savannah's Bartow Elementary School will get some idea today as they take part in a unique demonstration. Joining us this morning with more, Melissa Northing. Good morning. Good morning. Now, first off, let's talk about this because we're talking about a digital classroom. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what that is. Basically, our kids are learning how to use the technology with the curriculum. We're not, they're not just learning the technology for the technology's sake. When we talk about the digital classroom, they have computers in all of their rooms. We use still photography, video. The children also have a laptop lab that they're able to take to the classrooms with them. Um, they meet with me once a week to get instruction, but their classroom teachers also instruct them. So it's not just paper and pencil. The kids are actually visually learning the curriculum. They're manipulating the curriculum through our design program because we're math, technology, and design. So technology just a, is a small part of our program, but we're really proud. Now, when we talk about learning in this way, Bartow is a little ahead of the game when it comes to schools in Chatham County, but this is uh, something that folks overseas have been using for quite some time. Yes, 80% of schools in the UK have these Promethean boards, and the Promethean boards, they act as a projector to project what's going on with the computer, but the kids can actually go up and manipulate what is on screen. For instance, if a class is learning about the life cycle of a frog, mm -hmm. the students can go up and they can use a pen and they can click and they can drag the different life cycles of that frog. So it really engages the students. And it also helps teachers because they can create and animate their lesson plans and get feedback from students right then and there. Exactly. There's also something within the board called an ActiVote where the, ch the teachers can create a quiz and the students have a remote control and they can just answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They love it. They love it. They asked me last week, when are we going to use those again? Because we're just learning how to use those particular um, remotes recently is when we have started with that but wow. and, the, and the teachers get the results just like that they, we can actually project what percentage of the class understands the concept what students understand the concept and we can actually import it straight into our integrated program well so. a um, long ways away from those days of dusky chalk boards and, yes. and everything yes. erasers but one of the other things that we do as well is we have a um, school website specifically for the kids mm -hmm. where they can send emails we can post discussion boards the parents can go in and actually pull off information what is my child going to be learning this week what's the homework assignment forms that they need for class it's so our school is really excited about our technology and what's happening. And this fits in with the curriculum because uh, you have received for the third year in a row the Magnet Schools of America grant. Tell us about that. Magnet Schools of America, the, the purpose of the Magnet Schools of America is to pull in students from other areas of throughout the city. We have not only Bartow but Spencer Elementary mm -hmm. was part of this uh, Magnet Schools of America, Thunderbolt, they have um, Marine Science, Butler Elementary, and try to remember the other schools, but we're just one part of the grant that Chatham County received from Magnet Schools of America. So it really, Magnet Schools of America is, is really good in the fact that it enables us to enhance the curriculum. So today you're inviting folks to come to Bartow Elementary School to view the 21st Century Model Classroom. Let's tell folks where they can get information and how they can okay. be a part of this. Actually, it's tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, it is tomorrow <laughs> okay. morning. Tomorrow morning starting at tomorrow, 9. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow morning, the general public can come and view the classrooms from 11 to 3 o'clock. It is open. Mm -hmm. Our address is 1804 Stratford Street. If you get confused, you can always go to our website, www.bartobears.org, and it has a map. Okay. So, phone number 201-5300. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank this morning. Thank you. And stay with us. We'll be back with more Coastal Sunrise right after this.